What's up guys? Today is Thursday. It's a hot day in Mississippi. Y'all know what day it is. Y'all see the truck, so let's see what he's got. Come on. Gonna be a hot one today. It is. It was nice last night and this morning though. Shouldn't expect anything else, I guess. Summertime is here. That it is. In full force too. <laughs> yeah, huh? that it is. I say you got the new. The, the mythical new creature there. finally arrived. It's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. But. Hmm. Uh, so I was thinking it's going to be more like the 12 volt one they already had out, but it is a little bigger. Well, how do you like it so far? I hadn't or tried one yet. I hadn't, hadn't really. I mean, it, it feels torquey, but it's a little loud, but I think it's going to be good. Which it, what makes it look big too is the new. Yeah, five amp hour batteries they made for them. The battery's probably most of the way. It ain't really that heavy yeah, though. The battery it? isn't that bad. They don't look as big with the battery off of it. No. God, it don't weigh nothing, does mm -hmm. it? Man. That's a cool little impact. Mm hmm. Hmm. And that's supposed to be what, 400 and something? Yeah, I read it yesterday, but I've taken a nap since then. <laughs> 250 fastening, 400 breakaway. Dang. That's a little bitty joker. Mm hmm. And there's the specs on it. They want to see that. Yeah. Right. So y'all got a deal on them, or? I think they're three ninety nine. Is what it is. And it comes with two batteries. Two batteries comes with the five amp, and then a two or three. Three. Yeah. That's pretty good. Three ninety nine, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like it though. I may sure start getting people's reviews on it. It's little. You know, I don't know that it's gonna, it's not gonna hang with like some of your 20 volt and M18 stuff by no means, mm -hmm. you know. But I figure like some of that 14.4 14 14 stuff and you know, things like that, you know, w within its range, what it's built to be compatible with, right. I think it's gonna hold its own. It'll be interesting to see how it, how it works. Mm -hmm. Full show. I've got an old 18 volt that takes that same kind of slide in battery mm -hmm. like that. Man, you can't kill that thing. Like I've been waiting on it to die and waiting on it to die. <laughs> Your batteries hadn't died yet? Uh-uh. You're lucky. My batteries has held up good and my the drill itself is, I think it's tough. It, uh... I've left it in the back of the truck and it's rained on it. And, I want to say I have probably three drills that take that battery, two bit drivers, sawzall, skill saw, light, and some more odd and end stuff that we've had that all ran on that, those batteries. And then all the batteries have died. So. Well, now they make the adapters you can yeah, buy. Yeah, that's what that is there. To, 
that's the adapter to run the new 20 oh, volt batteries the adapter. out. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. That's the adapter. Then you can slide the 20 volt battery underneath it. Mm hmm. They tough, man. Them DeWalt stuff, I have to give it credit. It is tough. Like, I've been waiting on that one to die because I've been wanting the 20 volt, mm -hmm. you know? And I was like, I'm not buying it till this one dies because it's kind of like my problem is I hate having to change battery platforms because you get yeah. multiple tools and then, which now that they got the adapters, it's not as bad, but it still kind of sucks, you know? Because right. you're sitting there like, man, I got an 18 volt, but 20 volts. A lot stronger than the 18, you know. So, once those old 18 batteries crashed, though, there wasn't much bringing them back. Yeah, which mine's held up really good. But now I'm different than most people. Like I'll swap them out and put them on charge, you know, and keep them mm -hmm. keep them hot. I think that's the problem when you let them run dead and then sit dead and they stay dead. Yeah. You know? so, so, which I always run all my batteries till they. You know, usually when they flash or something, you mm -hmm. know, as low as it wants to go is when I charge them, I'll, I'll run them all the way down. Unless I'm up on the roof or something like that where I gotta climb down, then I don't yeah. I don't risk it. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's take two hot ones with us. Yeah, that's right. But. Well, what other new stuff you got? Man, we filled it back up with it. I don't really know where to start. Uh, oh. Uh, Just a little odd and stuff here and there. So it's finally starting to come back in a little more. Uh, these were the big deal that we finally got back in. And uh, been waiting on these forever. So uh, it seemed like there was something else I was wanting to show you this week, but I don't remember what it was. I know you got something new in. There's too much stuff on here for it not to be something new. Yeah. I got in another one of those new DeWalt kits that they had on a deal, but that's not the one with the impacts in it, though, that you were interested in. So you got uh, the new magnets down there. Yeah, they, uh, I've been waiting on the long ones for a while. Dang, them jokers are long right there, ain't they? They are. They got a 12 and a 24. The, uh, that's the spout. They stuck, all three of them stuck together. <laughs> and, and feel how heavy that is. Golly. Ain't no joke right there, is it? They wouldn't come out when the all stuck together. Pull it off. That joker's, that's a, that's a magnet right there. Golly, you about have to slide it off. <laughs> they, when they go on, they're that's on. That's a magnet right there. Holy smoke. That joker would hold pry bars. Yeah. Um, for like your long, long ones that you can't put mm -hmm. in, a box. in a drawer. Yep. Um, that's what a lot of people buy them for and they'll just let them stick to the end. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's the Magrel 24 and then they also make, that's a stout booger right there, the 12. <laughs> I can't believe how strong, it took me and you both pulling on that joke yep. to get it off. And, uh, <laughs> you better make sure you find get that somewhere thing to put off. it. <laughs> I mean, you've got to pretty much put it where you can get behind it. Mm hmm Or be able to slide it up over the edge like that. <clears throat> to pull it off. <laughs> now, y'all see Michael's not no little bitty fella now. <laughs> and you got to pull on them to get them <laughs> you off. you got to pull on them. So um, how much are them dudes? That's what I need. Because, you know, I bought that big Mac pry bar. And I the only place I can put that joker is in my locker. Right. That right there may be the answer to my pry bar issues. The 12 is 34.
And the 24 is 49. All right. I mean, as you can see up here, I have one. And, I mean, these ratchets are on them. But all these sockets, I mean, even some of these heavy impact sockets, that stuff rides there all day, every day, and never goes anywhere. Beating down the road. Yeah. That's what I need, then. So. That'll hold them big old pry bars. And I've had some, you know, just, they don't want the long ones. They just put two of the little ones top them, you know, in the middle way down just to help support them, you know, if they're going to be rolling your box. Or, I don't think it'd fall off of that standing I mean, that thing yeah. That's what they are back there. Well, you got two, of, three of them on that wall back there, mm -hmm. though. But that's a lot of pry bars. Yeah, that is a lot of pry bars. Yeah, that's what I'm going to get then. I think that'll, that'll fix the issue that I'm having with some storage problems with pry bars. What is that right there? Something that spreads open. A uh, battery terminal opener. I gotcha. Open old lead terminal that's mm. been closed up. I mean, through cardboard, you sit that down there and it pulls back to the other ones. <laughs> that's stout. But, yeah, they, uh, I think I'm going to get one of them big ones and that'll. That I've been waiting a while for them to come in keep that from happening. You sell many of these strippers like this with the, I actually went and helped a guy yesterday do some electrical work. He had a pair of them and I liked the way they yeah, work. Yeah, good bit. They're, they're real slim line. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and they're small, compact. They don't have any crimpers to, crimpers to them. They're only strippers, but yeah. uh, they, they do good. It still has the hole so you can hook your wire and bend back if you need to. And what are them running? TCT 15E. We need to start putting prices on everything on here. Make it a lot easier. They like the Walmart. I've thought about it, but it's one of those things that you know how much pricing there'd be to do in here. How many times a day you have to walk back up in there and, and do that though? Oh gosh, I mean. So how much were they on? Um, I looked them up, but I didn't look at the price. 19 bucks. Okay, put them up there too then. I'll get them in that um, one for sure. And then one thing I still have available is from the flyer. Swivel head ratchet kit. Yep, all three pieces. It's like 233 for all three pieces. Half, three eighths, and quarter. So, I don't have many sets of them left. I know I there's a bunch a of folks who sent me messages about they're coming to the meetup, you know, and they're, uh, they can't wait to get on this truck. Just tell them so, bring a pocket full of money. Y'all may be busy, busy, busy that day. Hey, that's what we want to hear. That's what we want to hear. I bet you'll be lighter going home than you do coming down here. That's a good thing. Also, for anybody that wants to come, if you'll let me know, because we're starting to get ready to let our caterer know how much food we're going to have to have. So don't tell me you're coming if you ain't coming, and then I buy a bunch of food and you don't come. But for those that want to come, that know you're coming, be sure to let me know who all's coming or how many. Because we don't want you to go hungry. Because I'm not giving up my plate. I know Michael's not giving up his <laughs> plate. So if you don't let me know, when you don't give me a number, don't fuss when you're sitting here drooling watching me and Michael eat. Because that's how it's going to be. Michael will you some beef jerky or some little mini beef sticks. You can eat them. Because if you don't tell me, it's yeah. your own fault. Right now is your chance. <laughs> but it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. it uh, and I've got time. several local customers that watch the channel and whatnot so they're coming up for it so cool well i guess we're gonna get the magnet and the strippers everybody loves a good stripper ain't nothing better than a good stripper high quality yeah. stripper well you guys have a great week and we will catch y'all next time 
Like always, hit that thumbs up. It's free. Merchandise, kotos, and discount codes. And click that subscribe button right there. You guys have a great week, and we'll catch you later. See ya.